Well, I recorded this video and didn't record the uh, <laughs> I recorded the sound and not the video, so these problems are already done. So I'm, I I don't have another copy of this, so I'm going to actually have to uh, kind of discuss the answer here. So D is the answer, but why? Um, we've got this piecewise function here, and it looks like this is to the left of two, this is at two, and this is to the right of two. So we don't know if they all equal each other. You'd have to plug it into C, um, but it's definitely not continuous okay so we know it's not continuous so why is that the case is it not continuous because g of 2 is undefined well the reason why this is false is because it actually is defined at 2 so 2 when I plug it in there it is g of 2 actually equals 2 radical 2 so it's definitely defined so that's false okay but what about this being true um, does the limit of g of x at 2 not exist okay and what you do is go to the left, okay, plug it in, and the sign of, you can see right there, the x is right there, so 2 pi over 3, okay, let me actually use a pen, pen here, uh, 2 pi over 3, and two pi, the sign of 2 pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2, okay, that's coming from the left. If you come from the right, it's this guy, and if you plug in a 2, you're going to get radical 3. These guys obviously do not equal each other, okay? So this is actually true. The limit doesn't exist because coming from the left, coming from the right, well, other perspective, um, coming from the left, coming from the right, they don't actually equal. So um, this guy is actually, uh, this is true. The limit does not exist. Now right here, this is also true because this is D and E, does not exist. And this guy actually is uh, um, 2 radical 2. Okay, so clearly these guys do not equal each other. That's true. Okay, so this means that only 2 and 3 are true. So D is the answer. Next, okay, right here, what we're going to do is we see that this guy is going to infinity. And so when you go to infinity, you'll notice that the higher power here is actually x to the third in the numerator and x to the third in the denominator. So if you put those over each other, you actually don't care about the other things because they don't have that powerful influence that the highest exponent does, okay? And so this guy ends up just being uh, canceled out here because at the same degree, you're gonna get eight over three. All right, this one right here is a little tricky because what you've got is, you've got, um, you've got the square root of, uh, you've got the square root of x to the second power, okay? Now when you take the square root, really what you're doing here is you're getting the absolute value, okay? You've got the absolute value. Okay, so when you've got the absolute value here, okay, you are actually choosing, okay, let me, Think for a second. Okay, how do I want to explain this? You are picking. Okay, you are picking um, a side. Okay, so it's it's going to be the plus or the minus. So if you are going to negative infinity, okay, you are going to pick the left one. Okay. So what you end up with is a negative x here because you are going to negative infinity. So when these guys cancel out, you're actually going to, um, that's going to cancel out to 1, but you are going to have a double negative. Okay, So having a double negative means that you're actually going to go to positive 3. Okay, So again, we make this a negative x because we are going to negative infinity. Okay, All right, because we are coming, we're going towards the left. All right, so this one actually I did not do. Are we still recording? We're recording. Yes, okay. So number eight. Uh, given this function h of x, uh, we, okay, we, looks like we're broken at two. Which of the following statements is or is not true? So let's see. Um, we're coming from the left of two, which is this guy. So let's plug in a positive two and two squared minus three times two. Looks like we get 4 minus 6 is negative 2. That guy's true. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, this guy right here. Does the limit actually exist? Okay, so this is the general limit. 
So let's look at the general limit. We know the left side is, is negative 2, so let's look at from the right side. So if I plug in a 2 here, unfortunately it does look like we get negative 1. So it means then that this negative 2 and this negative 1 do not equal each other, so this guy's got to be false. Okay. So is it continuous? Well, if one limit from one side is negative 1, the other side it's uh, negative 2, then it looks like it is not continuous. So this is false. So it looks like the only answer here would be uh, letter A. Okay. All right, so we've um, got the true or false. Okay, we'll stop this guy here.